The FOXID Admin Console is a web-based portal that allows IT administrators to better manage their FOXID licenses. Let's look at some of the main features included in the FOXID Admin Console. To start, go to the FOXID login page for the FOXID Admin Console and enter your login credentials. Once you get into the platform, you will first see the Home tab with summary information about the assigned licenses and active users. Here you can see the total number of licenses, the number of licenses assigned, and the active users that you have. Below you have a chart showing how these numbers have changed over time. On the bottom, you can see the total number of employees, groups, and logged in users. The upper right drop down menu allows you to filter these statistics by product. The last three options under the user ID management are mainly for IT administrators to manage the admin console's configuration. The directory setting is where admins get their users into the admin console to manage their licenses. IT admins can connect the admin console with any single sign-on system that uses the SAML or LDAP protocols, including Microsoft Active Directory. Once you integrate this into your system, you can automatically see all your users under the User and Group tabs. If you have users outside your single login system that you want to add, go to the Invited Users tab and add them by clicking on the Invite Users button. If you are going to create different groups of users, click on the Group tab and go to the Create Groups button. Groups are very beneficial to manage your licenses better. Now that you added your users and groups, the license management feature would be the admin console's main functionality to assign licenses to users and provide information about your licenses in real time. With this tool, you can automatically assign licenses by selecting the users or groups you want to license or by importing a list of users. Also, you can automatically remove permissions to use Foxit products by checking the boxes for each contact and clicking the Remove button or by importing a CSV file. Next, click Restore License Activation if you deleted someone by mistake and want to give a license back. Finally, if you're going to check the number of licenses assigned by product, you can look at any of the product tabs above. The product tabs allow you to see how many Foxit PDF editor licenses you have available and used by your users. The report tab allows you to run reports based on the total assigned and activated licenses. Suppose you want to customize the admin console interface. In that case, you can do so by going to the Enterprise Customization tab. There you can find different options for personalization. Now that you know how to use the admin console, start centralizing the management of your Foxit licenses today.